Welcome, subscribe to the channel or a like if you like it. Today we are going to talk about methylprednisolone acepinate, we will explain its mechanism of action, its dosage, its warnings and precautions, its uses and its side effects. What is methylprednisolone acepinate? Methylprednisolone acepinate is a medicine used to treat eczema, numular, dishydrotic, vulgar, enogenic, seborrheic or dermatitis. The brand name of methylprednisolone acepinate is Advantin. Mechanism of action of methylprednisolone acepinate Anti-inflammatory action, inhibits the formation of mediators such as prostaglandins and leukotrienes, and immunosuppressive action by inhibiting cytokine synthesis. Therapeutic indications of methylprednisolone acepinate Cream, ointment, ointment, emulsion Mild to moderate acute exogenous eczema, allergic contact dermatitis, irritative contact dermatitis, numbness eczema, dishydrotic eczema, vulgar eczema, and endogenous eczema, atopic dermatitis, neurodermatitis, seborrheic eczema with severe inflammation. Topical solution Inflammatory and itchy conditions of the scalp such as acute exogenous eczema, allergic and irritative contact dermatitis, vulgar eczema, endogenous eczema, atopic dermatitis, neurodermatitis, seborrheic eczema in adults and adolescents over 18 years. Dosage of methylprednisolone acepinate Topical, one application per day. Skin solution, treatment duration should not exceed 4 weeks. Emulsion, duration 2 weeks in adults. In children it should be limited to the minimum. Ointment, ointment, cream. Duration not to exceed 12 weeks in adults. In children it should be limited to a minimum. In general the duration of treatment in children should not exceed 4 weeks. The cream is used in XU date of skin conditions, the ointment when the skin is dry, neither exudes nor is very dry, and the ointment in very dry skin conditions, in general the ointment and the ointment are preferred in thick and lichenized lesions. The emulsion, cream. Ointment and ointment can be used in children over 4 months, adolescents and adults. The skin solution, adults and adolescents over 18 years. In seborrheic eczema with severe inflammation, the affected areas of the face should not be treated for more than 1 week. Mode of administration of methylprednisolone acepinate. Cream, ointment and skin emulsion, apply once a day in a thin layer on the affected area, rubbing lightly. Solution. Apply once a day in a thin layer on the affected area of the scalp, in the form of drops, making it penetrate with a gentle massage. Contraindications of methylprednisolone acepinate Hypersensitivity to methylprednisolone Presence of tuberculous or syphilitic processes, viral infections, such as herpes or chickenpox, rosacea, perioral dermatitis, ulcers, acne vulgaris, atrophic skin diseases and vaccination skin reactions in the area to be treated. In case of bacterial or fungal skin diseases, do not use on eyes or deep open wounds. Children under 4 months, cream, ointment, emulsion, due to lack of experience. Warnings and precautions of methylprednisolone acepinate. Use the lowest possible dose, especially in children and only for the time strictly necessary to achieve and maintain the desired therapeutic effect. In skin diseases with bacterial or fungal infection, specific additional treatment is required. Topical use of glucocorticoids may potentiate localized skin infections. Avoid contact with eyes, deep open wounds and mucous membranes. Wide application over wide areas or for long periods of time, particularly under occlusion increases the risk of side effects not to be used under occlusion when treating large areas of skin the duration of treatment should be as short as possible absorption and systemic effect cannot be totally ruled out risk of glaucoma after extensive application or in large doses for a prolonged period with the use of occlusive bandaging techniques or after application to the skin around the eyes to evaluate the benefit-risk relationship in children between 4 months and 3 years of age, cream, ointment, emulsion. No clinical data are available on the use of the skin solution in children under 18 years, so its use is not recommended. 
Visual disturbances may occur with systemic and topical use of corticosteroids. If symptoms such as blurred vision or other visual disturbances appear, assess the possible causes, which may be cataracts, glaucoma or rare diseases such as central serous chorioretinopathy, CRS, which have been reported following the use of systemic and topical corticosteroids. When large areas of skin are treated, the duration of treatment should be as short as possible since neither absorption nor systemic effect can be totally ruled out. Methylprednisolone acepinate interactions None known at this time. Pregnancy and methylprednisolone acepinate During the first trimester avoid the use of topical preparations containing steroids. In particular, treatment of large areas, prolonged use or occlusive dressing should be avoided during pregnancy. Breastfeeding and methylprednisolone acepinate it is not known whether topical application of methylprednisolone acepinate would result in sufficient systemic absorption of methylprednisolone acepinate for detectable amounts to appear in human milk. Caution should therefore be exercised when giving it to breastfeeding women. Breastfeeding women should not treat their breasts with the formula. Treatment of large areas, prolonged use, or occlusive dressing should be avoided during breastfeeding. Effects on driving ability with methylprednisolone acepinate The influence on the ability to drive and use machines is zero. Adverse reactions and side effects of methylprednisolone acepinate Burning and itching at the site of application